product of powers property applies to exponents and basically what this one says is now we're going to have powers that are going to be multiplied together okay, so we're taking the multiplication of things that are already raised to a power so how does that work well basically what this says is if I have two items with the same base and that's the key here is that these bases have to be the same so these are both X's what it says is that we're allowed to take these and basically apply the rule of addition to these I'll show you how this works in just a second but basically the property says you can add these together and come up with your total Okay, so let's see how that actually works. Let's see the, the math kind of behind how this works. And then we'll test a couple so you can see how you do on your own. All right, so x to the third means that I have x times x times x. That's x cubed. And then x to the eighth means that I've got x, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 eight of those that are in there. So really if I want to look at this, how many do I have all together? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven of these, which was the exact same thing as if I took these two numbers and I added them together. Okay, so that's how the property works. Now, this only works if you have the same base. Okay, so if I had something where it the bases didn't match, this rule does not apply. So I'll show you an example of what that might look like. You may have something where it says simplify. And it may be something like x to the third, y to the second, x to the, I don't know, let's say twelfth. So first thing we're going to do is find out are there any bases that are the same? Well, I've got an x here, and I've got an x here. This y does not match anything. Okay, so what this property says is it will not work for the y because it's got a different base. But for the x's, I can take the x's, I can take these numbers that are up in the top, and I can add those together. And then for the y, because it's got a different base, it stays exactly how it is. So what does that give us for a final simplification? Well, it tells me I have 3 and 12, or 15 of those x's, and I still have two y's. Okay, so the product of powers basically says that you're allowed to take items with the same base and go ahead and add together the exponents to get a final count.